We're building an out-of-state rental property empire. Dave and Kale, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. This is your show, folks. This is a show where we work directly for you to help you accomplish your real estate goals. And two guys that I have been working with for quite some time now, Dave and Kale, you dudes are building an out-of-state empire, uh, out-of-state rental property empire here in Cleveland, man. You guys are are mean, lean, aggressive. I like it. We are we are tackling burr deals. Uh, we're looking for multifamily. We're trying to acquire doors. You guys have combined resources, and you guys are doing some great things out here. Now, uh, I got two properties to show you again today. One is going to be a bird deal that I think you guys are going to be super excited about. But, you know, as we've been acquiring so many properties so quickly for you guys, I think it's been kind of a joint goal of you as well as myself to try to balance out your portfolio, balance out your acquisitions, get some things that are also going to be occupied. Because I hate for you guys to just you know, send hundreds of thousands of dollars out here in Cleveland and then, you know, you get disenfranchised because no money is coming back in, right? Because the whole business at this point is just you sending money after money after money because we're acquiring all these properties and then we're doing big old rehabs. And, you know, my team, we handle it all top to bottom, right? Very good at what we do, but, you know, we can't rehab all the properties all at once right so it's nice to stagger some things in you know uh use some strategy with our acquisitions knowing that you guys are scaling up so quickly so first i want to show you uh this particular property i've looked into this for a few other people in the past right 317 center road bedford this is a quad man so we're talking about you know getting uh as many rental checks per door as humanly possible this is the kind of property that we can do that with right now here's the thing this property has literally been on the market, off the market, on the market, off the market, on the market. I've looked it over for several guys. Uh, you know, some have made offers, some the offers were not accepted. The last client I worked with, uh, his max price was $120,000. The listing agent did not accept that, so we're going to have to bid higher than $120,000 if you guys would like to take this one down. And like I said, on the market, off the market, on the market. So real quick, I'm going to have you take a look at the footage of the last time I analyzed this one. 317 Center Road, Bedford, Ohio, 44146. This is a BC neighborhood. This is a solid neighborhood. So you have no neighborhood concerns. Very stable. This property was just listed two weeks ago by a realtor from Westway Realty. The list price, $149,900. You're going to have to be more aggressive on this one. This is a quad. This is a hell of a deal. Since you're going to be paying cash, that's more attractive than the other bidders, because this is gonna have multiple offers guaranteed. So since you're coming in cash, I'm hoping maybe we can get you a slight discount, pick this up for 145,000. But if we get into a bidding war, you're probably gonna have to increase that to pay list or maybe a grand or two above list. If you do, don't worry, still gonna make sense. This is a solid deal. You absolutely wanna take this one down. What it is currently bringing in, we got four one bedroom, one bath units, rent roll on the screen, brings in 2,240 a month or 26,880 a year. Now, not all those rents are market rents. Those, uh, those rents are a little bit off. In my opinion, market rents for each one of these units is gonna be 600 a unit. So three of the units, we could increase the rent. One of the units, they're, they're running it at 645. I, I don't know what the situation is, how they got that particular tenant to pay that. Uh, if you try to rent things for above market price, every once in a while you'll get certain tenants who will do it. But I don't want to make you feel uh, like 645 is the target. I think that's a little fluffed. I don't know. It's, it seems like a one-off to me. I would not anticipate we're going to put four tenants in there on a regular basis, all paying 645. I think the more appropriate market price is going to be 600. So that does add six. 
1,600, or I'm sorry, it does add 160 bucks a month to your monthly rent roll, but uh, you know, that's just what's reasonable, right? We, we may be up sometimes, we may be down, but that is a reasonable expectation. That's what it's all about here, providing you reasonable expectations, right? This is rental real estate. There's an unlimited amount of variables at all times. Um, I just try to give you the closest thing to what you can anticipate. But running the numbers based upon what the property is currently doing with the current monthly rental, um, monthly rental, uh, monthly rent roll, eh, couldn't get that out, of $2,240 a month. What does it look like? Well, I believe we'll be spending $1,371 of that $2,240 a month, leaving you with an NOI of $869. Now, if you pick this up for $145,000, and you're making an NOI of $869 a month on average, that is a 7-2 cap. And of course, that could go up if we got the, the rental income a little bit higher. Now, a few things, right? This is above your budget, right? You're only looking to spend 50 to 100K per property. But here's the thing. Quads, man, there is just a very few amount of quads. And when you're refinancing your portfolio later, Quads are what you really want to have in your portfolio because once you get into the commercial stuff, the terms are not going to be as good, right? You being a foreign national, you're not going to get the, the very best residential terms like U.S. citizens will, but you can still get some 30-year financing, right? Especially if you do a big old blanket loan. Uh, we should be able to get some like really high quality financing terms for you. Um, with that blanket loan, and if some of the properties have a high enough purchase price, you can go independent and like do individual mortgages, right? If you have a bunch of like sixty thousand dollars houses, seventy thousand dollars houses, you know it may be hard as a foreign national to get like a pure thirty year loan. So you want a blanket loan, all those would be more on a commercial basis. But with this particular property, we could probably separate that out, I believe, and get you like a really solid thirty year loan on this particular property because it's you know going to be you know high priced, right? And the cool thing is like a four unit property is typically the largest property you can get a 30 year loan. So that's, that's the tree I'm trying to bark up with this. That's why I think it's important. Now, price wise, do I, I see like a big uh, a shift in value um, between now and when you go to refinance this out? No. Do I see a big shift in value now and when you go to refinance this out based on the, the minor adjustments we can make to that rent roll? No, I don't. I think uh, it's more or less worth about this number. I mean, I don't know. Honestly, it, I could probably sell it for 165000 if I was the agent just because I have such a, a wider audience, right? Um, but, you know, it's only a $20,000 difference. So it's it's not like, you know, an incredible burr play or we're not really trying to like steal a ton of equity here. This is just a solid earner that just makes a ton of sense. Uh, to refi out in the future and to just maintain for your portfolio. I mean, if we if we did get this worth 165, I guarantee I could sell it for 165. But you know, can I guarantee that the appraisers are going to value it at 165 if you purchase it for uh, a lower amount and didn't like make incredible major improvements or see a major market shift? I don't know. But if we did get it to do an appraisal of 165 and we did separate it out from like a blanket loan, you'd probably get $123,750 of your cash back, okay, on a 30-year note. So this is just a solid, solid move for your portfolio. So this is something I want you to look at. All right, dudes, welcome back. So let me know your thoughts if you guys think this one would make sense. Uh, you know, cash deal, you know, like we were talking about in that last analysis might make sense. You guys could also go ahead and just finance this right off the rip. Um, you know, however you want to do it. I think this would be a good thing to mix in your portfolio. A, right? We got a lot of single families, which is cool, which is great. But, you know, this is nice to get four rental checks uh, via one roof. Got a little bit of rent coming in. Uh, you know, I just think this would be a good thing to balance out. But remember, as of last time I submitted an offer, 120 k is not going to do it. So we're going to have to go north of that. Uh, so let me know what offer you guys feel comfortable with if you, in fact, want to make a move on this. But I think this one would be a very nice addition to your portfolio. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a quick word from the sponsor of today's show, and then I'm going to get into a burr deal, which is very similar to a lot of the other burrs we've done for you. G'day, everyone. It's Angela Remora here. 
your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Dave Kale, dudes, welcome back. Now, this one right here, this is just right you know, this is your speed, exactly, you know, what we've been doing. We got several of these types of deals in the works, and I thought this one would be totally legit. I think you guys are going to love it. 331 16th Street, Elyria, 44035. And this has been on the market forever, dude. 139 days. The agent and the seller, dude, they made you know, multiple cardinal sins. Number one, they priced it too high originally. They had the price much higher. They had to keep dropping it down. Number two, dude, very, very low marketing, right? This is it. This is all we got, dog. We got one photo. That's it. And it's occupied. It's occupied by the uh, the uh, owner, right? So, you know, showings, they're going to be a problem. Um, we got no good marketing. It's probably ugly inside. They listed it too high. So just, you know, every little mistake in the book that uh, leads properties to be stale like this, they've done. So, you know, that's fucking awesome for us, right? They currently have the price at 44500 Now, we're going to need to do a renovation, right? Because... There ain't no way this house don't look crummy, right? It's already listed super low at this point, still not moving. We got to assume we got to do the full shebang to make this thing look legit. So because of that, it's been on the market forever. All these mistakes. You guys come in super hot, super aggressive. I would love to see you guys take it down for 35 k And then I factored in a $25,000 rehab budget. Now, of that 25 k $20,000, that's just going to be simple shit that I could almost guarantee we're going to need. Because there ain't no scenario where some dude has been living here probably for like 10, 15 years, and he moves out. We don't got to do a full fucking cosmetic rental. Like, it's just not going to happen, right? So, beautiful hardwoods or, you know, vinyl allure flooring, right? We got to get those in there. Fresh, painted, agreeable gray, neutral walls, white trim, modern updated fixtures in those kitchens and the baths. That's going to take $20,000 out of our budget, right? But I factored in twenty five dollars for you guys because roof on this house is probably like a four or $5,000 roof. And then we have a furnace, which is going to be three Gs and a hot water tank, which is a grand. I don't really have any info on the ages of those. Do I anticipate we're going to have to do all three? No, probably not. Dudes live in there. Furnace works. Hot water tank works. Theoretically, the roof is not leaking, but are all those items new? No, of course not. They're not going to be new, man. So I factored in another $5,000. You know, worst case scenario, those three things, that would be about 9000 but I don't see us having to spend a full 9000 Best case scenario, you don't have to spend any money. It'd be zero, right? I don't see that happening either. I bet it's going to be somewhere in the middle. So I think it's very smart for us to assume we're going to drop twenty-five. Now, once we drop that 25, get it look cosmetically beautiful, get some mechanicals taken care of, which is also going to help us on the appraisal. 
we are going to be able to put a Section 8 tenant into this property at 1100 approximately. Why do we get a little bit more rent than we normally do? Because this bad boy is uh, giving us four beds and two baths. So Section 8, they're going to pay us a little bit better. We're going to get a higher voucher, and then they'll give us a little bit of credit for that second little bath there, man. So 13200 comes in. You know, we got our normal expenses you guys are super familiar with. Approximately 513 goes out, leaving us with 587. Now, here is where the deal gets good, right? This is why you guys love burrs. This is why you guys are being so aggressive. This is why you guys are pounding your cash into this market. This is how you two are going to build this empire. We're going to be all in. You know, if we could pick it up at 35 cuz all the mistakes made, Right? I don't think there's a lot of people interested in this house, dude. There's nothing there's nothing really great about it, right? Just uh, you know, it's not not attractive to anyone really. So, you know, we pick it up at thirty five, we put our twenty five in, dude. We're all in at sixty, right? I believe with the beautiful cosmetic rental, the upgraded kitchens and the baths, some mechanicals taken care of, getting them new, we could really show those appraisers. We did some value here. I think we'll get a appraised value of seventy. We do that, dude. They're loaning us fifty to five, and with the rent coming in at section eight tenant with that four bedroom voucher, that would pencil out to an approximate cash on cash return of 59 percent that's why bird deals are so awesome that's why you guys love them but again i i like you guys to consider things like the quad and i like that you guys have had me uh start looking into some more occupied properties because these bird deals are great but you know if we do all bird deals all at once, there's going to be a big length of time where you're waiting on stuff to start coming in. So I really like to balance that out, get some money coming in now with our projects. Let's really get uh, strategic here and balance things out. So, uh, dudes, let me know if you want to move on one or both of these. And then, as always, my team will get with you. We'll put the offer on your behalf, and we'll start negotiating with those listing agents. Other folks who are watching uh, what I'm doing right now with Dave and Kale, if you're curious to know how you can work with us in the same way, very simple. Y'all go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab. You got two ways you can work with us. The first is uh, the Investment Properties for Sale show. If you're a buyer, just click it. Watch the show. Subscribe to our daily email list. We'll mail the show to you every day at 1 o'clock. You make your bids right off of the show. You just send an email with your proof of funds or your pre-approval letters to sales at HoltonWise.com. My staff fulfilled your bids. We are the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland. If you don't have lenders, shoot them that email as well. Be like, yo, man, I want to start bidding on properties. I'm ready to rock. I know what I want to do. I read your property management fact. I know what I want. I'm just ready to make offers. Uh, but I need a lender, sales at HoltonWise.com. They will hook you up. If you're a seller and you're trying to get out of the market, you're trying to move on, trying to do other things, likewise, check us out, send us an email. You want us to sell your property on that show, we will. Um, moving on, that's this show, second way you can work with us, the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is the show where you get to work with us one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to build you a portfolio, right? The other show... We're just sending you what we send out. We send out an email every day at 1 o'clock with a property. You either like it, you bid on it, or you move on, you wait till tomorrow, right? There's, that's how that works. But if you want to work one-on-one, -on -one, you want to tell us what you're looking for, you want to send us out in the market, look at deals from the other 5,000 realtors, looking for sale by owner deals, wholesale deals, bank tapes, REOs, you name it. You want to put us to work for you and for you alone, you click on this show, and then we got a whole slew of packages. It's an a la carte service, so you can get whatever you want. You could do one property. You could do multiple properties. You can even hire my team to go film properties for you. Uh, what Dave and Kale have done, these dudes have uh, done several of these 10 property packages. If you're trying to build a rental empire like they are, if you're trying to scale your business, you're trying to go big, you want multiple doors, you know, a lot of people... They want 50, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 doors. If you want to build a big-ass portfolio, this is the package because you get to work with me long-term. We go back and forth. You know, we're trying to really get some good deals. A lot of the deals, you know, sometimes they don't come through. Sometimes they take months to come to fruition because we're trying to extract value out of the marketplace, guys. We're trying to pick these properties up below market value. We're not trying to do win-wins when we're on the MLS Search and Analysis Show. We are trying to extract value from the market and put it in your 
pocket. So you definitely want to be committed to us long term so we can commit our resources to you. That's all I've got for today's show, folks. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals. U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.